TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? Slight little warning screen, you know what I'm saying? Don't know what's going to happen in here, but we're going to abide by the warning. Don't forget, Twitch.com is where you can catch any of the lives, previous lives, and things of that nature. Your username is at the bottom of the screen. We also got um, Patreon as well, man. I'm telling y'all, come to Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get y'all basic content here, but Patreon is where you got everything. Everything that you watch on your own that you think that I'm not watching, I'm watching it on Patreon. <laughs> so don't go, don't be fooled. Anyway, this is police interceptors. Hopefully we ain't done this one. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. It's a quiet evening in the outskirts. But there's something in the air. 600 it? horses roaring through Halifax. We ain't seen this. Sir. The proactive intercept team are after an Astra on false plates. Can you tell me got a vehicle called Stop Parking Slade at Halifax? With the pit team on its bumper and a marked car behind. Speed 60 miles an hour. They need one more unit of boxing. What time did they say it was? It's an early. Who's up getting police chased by police at this time? In the bad guy, which can't happen soon enough. Bad guy, bad guy, can't police blow. From wrong side of the edge. Oh, he's on the opposite the side of traffic and everything. As the convoy turns onto a two carriageway road, the target Astra switches lanes into oncoming traffic. So the police interceptor's gonna jump the curb. The runaway's running parallel to two cop cars. And he's made a break off the slip road. The marked car yeah, cuts no, across the carriageway. Just in time to spot the Astra snaking away. Yeah, it's going down towards the centre of Polish Rats. They said it was 9 p.m. Look, bro, it looks like it's 7 a.m. right now. We're... This is insane. Next to India 2 0, we are now behind it. Speeds 4 7 miles an hour. Can we have an end pass, please? A dog and teapot units. They need reinforcements and racing to intercept. Two more members of the proactive intercept team, Dave Lunn and Harry Jeffrey. Clear left, clear left, clear left. Harry's no slouch behind the wheel, but he won't mind. I've never been a fan of his haircut. For some reason, it just it is not. It don't fit. Something's wrong. His barber need to be fired immediately. I'm bald, but I can still speak. I used to have hair at some point. Dave driving if they reach the runaway in time to box him in. We've got a clone Astra make off from our colleagues. It's gone wrong way down a down a carriageway. Harry and Dave need to make up the numbers sharpish because five miles away. Undertaking traffic. Just a break in red ATS. Stand by, stand by. The runaway Astra is putting innocent drivers at risk. Y'all need to fall back. Ain't this about the time where y'all fall back? Because he's uh he's diabolical out here on these roads. He it flies does. through a red light on a wing and a prayer and really takes off. Still A629, speed 7, 7 miles an hour. Nickel uh, still failing to stop. Wrong side of the road, above motorway speeds. This guy is an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Look, even the narrator knows. Put a steel road, put a steel road, stand by. Wrong way round the traffic lights. Hospital. Wrong side of the carriageway, and the wrong one jumps another red light. 
people did go back there on the carriage. They've got to get him stopped before someone is hurt. Luckily, Dave and Harry are closing in, carefully negotiating red lights themselves. They know the threat a runaway like this can pose. Pursuits are inherently dangerous. And unfortunately, members of the public are sometimes put at risk. Um, we, all, we try and minimise that risk as much as we can. Apologies, yes, yes. But two miles away at the sharp end of the pursuit... Zero miles an hour. Minimising risk isn't on the Astra driver's agenda. He's playing wrong way roulette again. And interceptors decide to abort the pursuit. There's the abort. They have run out of luck. They didn't decide to abort early enough. But that's head on. Oh my, almost head on. He dodged it a little bit. It could have been worse. Oh, wow. Accident, it's an accident. accident. Get him. At around 50 miles an hour, he crashes head on into an oncoming hatchback. Uh, I feel like that oncoming hatchback got it worse than the people running away. Because they hit head on. The front of their car hit. The rear quarter panel of the other car hit, right, kind of. And as a stray wheel rolls down the carriageway, miraculously, the runaway driver is off like a shot. Pursued by a sprinting copper, with fast. no thought for the carnage he's left behind. Location. Location. Yes, yes, into woods. It looks like they've lost him. Yeah, the only way he was getting away was hopping in the woods. Honestly, we don't need to. We don't need a recap. I'm sorry. Recapping is not my forte. Look at how much time they did wasted with this recap. But the suspect's taken one chance too many. Taking the wrong carriage Tight. for the third time, the runaway Astra plows head on into a Fiat 500 at sickening speed. That's what I'm saying. After he took the wrong carriageway, like the first time is when they should have backed up. Because you know he's willing to do it again at this point. He did it once. He's doing it again. That's too much. That's a high risk. You know how to be like medium risk, medium risk. That's high risk. Back up. Remarkably, the innocent driver only has minor injuries. And the suspect somehow flees the devastation he's left behind. Uh, priority here is making sure members of the public are all right. Um, they're being looked after by colleagues. We're making our way to area. I think we're carrying Dave and Harry arrive in total chaos. The Fiat hit head on has Dang. been thrown off the road. Look at the rim. Airbags have deployed and it's a total wreck. <laughs> the runaway Astra has had its passenger side demolished. Yeah. As you can see, it's quite a substantial impact. This street to going up to block it off up there. Right. So I don't know where they are when they're chasing. We're about to go up from that all. Yeah, yeah. They're blocking road off up top. Right, yeah, this is going the wrong way down Pace. We did a bar as soon as he did it. So he's got it up there, has he? Yeah, yeah, we, we did abort as soon as he did it. You aborted too late is what I'm saying. Yes, you aborted, but you aborted when you knew tragedy was on the brink of happening. Like. <laughs> oh, he's there. Somehow, the suspect ran away from this. And it's nothing short of a miracle that the Fiat driver wasn't seriously injured. Looks like a young girl coming home from college or coming home from uni or something or her job at starbucks or something. well i don't know not starbucks but somewhere else chick-fil-a seen a carnage unfortunately thankfully everyone's okay but people simply think there's no consequences to driving dangerously taking a car and taking a chase from the police this is your consequence right here members of the public damaged vehicles putting themselves at risk of members of the public 
It's unacceptable. With paramedics confirming the Fiat driver is okay. Right, steady now. The dog team comes in to hunt for those responsible. Diesel, stay. Police dog Diesel heads straight for a canal. I won't surprise me if they've gone across, you know. Yeah. But Diesel's more interested in something on this side of the water. Good boy, good boy, that's nice. Oh, good boy. Jacket. It's a good boy. All right, well, that's... That's the jacket discarded by one of the suspects. He's wet through. I'm not going to lie, he's definitely in the canal. You ain't got to worry about no alligators, no, 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 no. <laughs> No crazy stuff popping up in there like Florida if he was in there, but like, yeah, he was hop right in there. So Jesse has been in the canal. Because whoever he is is an elite athlete. He jumped up out of that car and got gone. I'm talking about the cleanest sprint. He's going to be wet through. I'll take that back to the colleagues. Under the coat. Mm, Better win our crap crystals. What looks like a bag of class A's. The signs are the owner of this coat is involved in dealing drugs. So we know how you ran. Good boy, that's nice. Right, just look at this jacket. Two, Two phones. phones. Surprise, surprise. What's uh, the. It's like crap crystals to me or some description. Oh uh, dear. Somebody's night, is it? A load of cash. <laughs> Someone's unlucky night. The deliberate. I ain't even gonna lie, bro left everything behind. Why? Why? What was the logic? <laughs> they hidden this underneath the tree roots. But Diesel's indicated at um, it's been recently touched by humans. Diesel found the stash, but not the suspect who fled the Astra. Given the carnage he caused and the danger in which he placed members of the public, the interceptors are determined to catch up with the driver, and the investigation is ongoing. This is where our investigation starts. It was on corn plates, right? That was the original reason why they picked it up. So it's probably stolen. How y'all gonna find that man? Now, we'll get this vehicle back to the recovery yard, have it forensically examined. It doesn't stop here. It's just the beginning. Hopefully, with a good investigation, we can uh, track them down and bring them to justice. An interceptor shift can change direction faster than a runaway bad guy. I remember this one. One minute, you're leisurely en route to clear traffic congestion. X-ray Romeo 74, can we have fire, please? Uh, this Merc is on fire. The next, you're facing down a fireball. Never seen that one. Tires popping from heat. In this game, it pays to be reactive. And this morning, dog handler Steve Huntington is reacting to a sensitive car theft. It's a vehicle that's been stolen with keys, but the um, the latest information is that two of the suspects are only teenagers. The stolen car is a white VW Polo, and a shout comes over the radio, it's been spotted. It's uh, a white male driving it. Didn't look as young as 40. Stopping. They're going down Ollerton Road towards the road there. Playing catch up here. Pretty. <coughs> Steve's pet hate is burglars, but he's taken plenty of car thieves over the years. However, he's not happy about today's turn of events. The kids, are, you know, they should be at home in bed. It's half past four in the morning. And yet they're, um, they're driving around the streets of Bradford in a stolen car, 13, 14 years old. Um, There's no consequence for them, that's why. It's scary, they shouldn't be out and about. But 
because as the sun rises on a brave new day, Steve's shift is about to take a new direction. Uh, ongoing, ongoing burglary suspect in the house. Burglary? By Carla's father. In the crib? At, like live? Just had a call from um, occupants of the house that uh, disturbed two people. People breaking into or inside the house. The money. Cause remember, we seen one with a burglary before. This is, uh, as it was going on, but I, I look forward to not the same. Um, the second one's run off. Um, but it sounds like the um, the mail that they've got is um, putting up a bit of a fight and a struggle with the uh, occupant. Leaving the junior car thieves to other units. Steve's got a date with his pet hate. It's the worst nightmare, isn't it, when you're woken up by someone in your house? Cops from all... Couldn't be me. I'm in America. You're running this crib and I'm there? Say goodnight. Forever. All over are descending on the address. Has well, it suddenly gone mental, hasn't it? Five o'clock in the morning. And it's not about to get less crazy. The yes. burglar's been handed over to the cops. He's taking his ass! He's taking his ass! He's staying there! Right, you should try to spit him in my face, and this is what happens to you. You're breaking me free! You're breaking me down! Why are you doing that to me, Rich? You're right. The burglar has already resisted arrest and threatened to spit in an officer's face. Leaving him to fellow interceptors, <laughs> Steve speaks to the victim of the burglar. That is hilarious. You all right? Yeah, I'm looking at you. You're the one who... I'm just like... Uh, uh, please, let me get this first. I'll put it in. Please, please. Bear, bankies. Bankies. What sort of... What van is it? Oh, yeah. This is a different one. This is the second episode we've seen with a live burglar catch. This dude is in here with his family. Oh, yeah. You definitely ain't banking it out. Mercedes. The homeowner thinks two men were trying to steal his van and broke in looking for keys. Which doors are coming? This one. All the back. Can we have a look? Yeah. All right then. All right then. But let me up then. The suspect has been put in a spit. A spit hood. Hood. To prevent him making good his earlier threat. Minister. They're coming through the door, yeah. Okay. And where were you when he's coming? Sleeping in the front room of the house. Yeah, I'm Have you had a bit of a... That's nice, yeah. It seems the homo... See? This is what I be talking about. Like, I want a house. And I want a, like, dual-level house. Like, a multi-level house. But I would... my The master bedroom would have to be on the ground floor for me. And very close to the staircase. You know what I'm saying? So I need to protect my household. I need to be close to every the front. I need to be close to the doors. And I don't want no trees around my property so you can climb up and get like that. That's just me. Unless I got some type of elite door and a and a and a nice little guard dog, then I could be upstairs. But other than that, like I wouldn't sleep well. Oh no, disturb the housebreaker. Gave him a few right hands and held him down. Yeah, you're going to talk to me, yeah? You're all right talking to me before telling me you're going to spit in my face? You know, sitting them up. It's the wall. Right. He got in there. The burglar doesn't look too clever after his brush nah. with the victim. You can see he's got some facial injuries where last thing we want is hearing him spitting and be him spitting blood. Um, so that's why the spit has gone straight on. We're just going to change it now for a fresh one. We'll just wait for ambulance to come. The basic Ooh. bit of kit. Got the best of him. All right. I'd say that's enough. <laughs> it's fair to say he. Yes, 
Hey, I ain't never seen somebody look so defeated at their own at their own call at their own um what's it called? At their own reason, whatever it's called. House to break into. However you say it. Hard working guy, decent family. Um salt of earth, you know, the um he's up at Crackadon. He's got a paper shop or off license. Um Crackadon. He's got a paper shop or Anybody with shorts that are almost down to their ankle going, you're not going to successfully rob them. they fighting back. Off license. Um, and because of that, he's, he's sleeping downstairs. Um, so that is not disturbing his family who are upstairs. And then things like this break into his house, disturbing him and his family, putting, you know, potentially putting them all at risk. He do not know what he's got, um, as in weapons. No, and and he's protected himself and his family. What was the door? C closed it behind him, and then uh, he walks in, and you know, five yards in, as I jumped on him, I gave him a few overs there, he swam down, I pinned him down, and this man called the police. Yeah, he's got injured as a result, well, so, Tough. Right. That's what you get when you break into people's houses. You know, he's got a right to protect his property and his family, and he has done. Oh, he does. Okay. That's off to him. Personally, we should put him on, a, on an island and leave him there. It's just so crazy. God forbid this ever happens to me, but, like, if it does, I'm going to meet that person with so much force. It's going to be an immense amount of force. Seven pounds of pressure, to be exact, followed by a projectile. <laughs> Multiple, bro. You hear me? The alleged second burglar was never caught. However, the teenagers in the stolen polo were tracked down and are under investigation. Nothing. The car was returned to its owner. As for the man who picked the wrong Englishman's castle to invade, it turns out he's a career criminal with 47 convictions. Dang, what? Many of them for burglary. You gotta give up, retire. And he'll have time to reflect on that career because though the court didn't put him on an island and leave him there, they did give him four and a half years yeah, inside. It's over. Still to come. It's over, buddy. Where's Lisa? West Yorkshire interceptors police 780 square miles from Ilkley in the north to Hepworth in the south. They mostly nick proper Yorkshire criminals. It's a black Mercedes 250. Get here. But sometimes. Hey, we're almost at. Not almost, but we're, cl we're getting closer to 70,000 subs. 70,000 family members, you know what I'm saying? So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please hit the sub button. And also, for this episode, you know, I started asking nowadays. For I forgot I used to do that. And it used to work really well, man. You guys are, you know, you just got to be reminded. <laughs> hit that like button, man. Like goal for this video. This is Police Interceptors. This is literally y'all favorite thing to watch. Mine, too. Can we get, like, 300 likes? I'm probably underachieving with 300, but come on now. Y'all, that's easy for y'all. Thank you. The suspect southerners stray onto their patch. We'll try and pull three empty box on him to prevent it turning into a pursuit or a teapot. And they're after a car stolen this morning in Cambridgeshire. Helicopters above, so that can keep monitoring it. If it does get too stupid and go wrong way down motorway, then everybody will back off. And they'll just let helicopters follow it. Just confirm he's just alongside the uh, blue Arctic now with the white cap. The 150 miles per hour Merc was allegedly stolen earlier this morning. And he's believed to be travelling with a down. second suspect in a silver Citroen. Did you say you think the uh, is in convoy with the silver car in front? I think it is. Everything that that's all the cars done, the Mercedes is done. Yeah, understood. We've got that visual. That's also in the same lane at the moment. 
God's own country has rolled out the blue carpet for this pair. Oh, them two right there. South Yorkshire interceptors are already on their tail. Now, the is there a London police show? I would, I would like in the stream in the chat. Is there a London police show that we can watch? Best of the West are ready to receive them with open cells. Four, four, five, we're uh, behind two or one. So what, two vehicles, one's a Mercedes, then one's a Citroen. A.D. Fickling is just the driver for a job like this. He's passed every test known to man and is a master of TPAC. Police pet peeve, drug dealers. Boxing in baddies with multiple cars. Pastor, just find out if this one behind me is T Pack train. Can we just confirm that all of us are T Pack train, please? 455, I'm going to T Pack train. I'm just going past 30, I am T Pack train. Today's tactics call for four specialist drivers. When the non T Pack units drop back, they currently have just three. You really need it's, it's four cars though. You really need eight. Yeah. Eight five of them behind the uh, unmarked dog car, two pack train. All their highly skilled ducks are in a row. Uh, seven there, look. Seven there, look. See it. There's two cars in lane three. But the suspects may have got wind of Yorkshire's finest. Some protection points. Ten past three, one. Uh, the Black Mercedes is lane four at the moment. The two cars are driving alongside each other. Uh, we don't know if they're in a chat. Definitely. Uh, they are absolutely parallel. It's yeah. up there, yeah. Using a phone at the wheel is bad enough. Hobnobbing across the fast lanes of the M62 is certifiable. Five past three one, uh, the uh, Mercedes is now pulled in front of the uh, Citroen and he is lane three out of four. We can only hit one car at once. They can only safely T pack one vehicle. And with the Merc pulling away, it's decision time. Yes, there is sufficient gap. There's at least uh, 20 cars length now. They decide to put everything on black. Silver car, you'll be passing shortly. Uh, the black car is probably uh, 50 yards in front of the BQ, Larry. Ready? Second vehicle, take off side. Third vehicle, take near side. Fourth rear. Stand by. Steady. Go. Lights on. Yeah. Oh, that's the big body, too. That's the nice sedan. Was that S Class? Or CL? CLS? Engine off! Engine off! Engine off! It's over at the speed of blue light. Open the door. Seen from the... That's the hey, I'm not gonna lie. That's a... Four, four car T-Pack on a... On a highway at 70 miles an hour is insane. <laughs> yeah, a pack of... In no injuries, no car got hit, nothing. Interceptors flies past the Citroen, while other cars drop back to slow traffic behind. The pack closes in on the Merc like a high-speed police escort. And it strikes. One in front, one inside, one out. That gotta be Lisa right here. Side, one behind, game over. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you're done. Welcome to Yorkshire. What you talking about? What's happening? Out. out. Exterior, it's a stop, stop, no injury, no damage. What's happened, sir? I'll tell you in a second. The driver of the stolen Merc is in a marked car before you can say, banging preemptive strike team. Good stop, that mate. Meanwhile, the back markers have brought the M62 to a standstill. Bad news for sales reps, lorry drivers, and Mrs. Brown's Scarborough mini brake. But not without benefits for the cops. From M plus three, run there, that Citroen is behind you as well, in, stuck in the traffic. Oh, they got them both, that's crazy. There's a silver Citroen that's been running with it. It's, it's in lane two behind us now. So some of the units that are behind us, can they get the uh, secure the Citroen while we've got the current way stationary? Let the reverse slow-mo T-Pack commence. 
Yeah, it's literally moving one of is in lane two, lead vehicle, out of the uh, queue in traffic. How about again, till the traffic gets moving, I spy with my little eye something beginning with... You're nicked. Should have stayed in Cambridge, mate. Stolen. So it's been stolen today with keys. From inside, so they could have oh, no, I've, I've already ah! had, I've requested it from a bird. The UFC fighter, the uh, kickbox lady. Today. Still hasn't followed me back. The Mercedes was reported stolen earlier in the day. So, your friend's bought it. the tags on and you're driving it back. But the driver is pleading ignorance. What insurance do you have to drive that? Pardon? What policy of insurance do you have to drive it? Uh, I don't know, actually. It's told me the insurance on the car and it's, uh, all the paperwork is uh, Thank you. Paid, so... Ding, ding. Round two. Where did your friend buy it from? Past Doncaster. Take that. How far past Doncaster? Uh, maybe 50 miles. 50 miles past Doncaster? Yeah. Hmm. That's a whole... That car that you're in is stolen. Stolen? Yes. What do you mean stolen? I mean it's stolen. Right. Stolen car? Yes. Jesus Christ, can be stolen. I don't know. Whoa. Why? Because he buy this car, paid the money, he sold the how much did he? How much did he pay for it? I don't know, actually. The going price for this Merc is about 11 grand. Can't expect him to remember pin money like that. Did he pay cash? I swear, 11,000 for that? America be getting over on people, I swear. It look more expensive than 11. He paid cash, I think so, yeah. I'm not sure about this, because I was sitting... It seems that this isn't the driver's first brush with the law. And why were you in prison? Uh, I went to the court, yeah, and then I don't know, the judge sent me to the prison because I used to drive in the car as well, yeah, mm. and uh, I've been a little bit drunk. DUI? And then they've banned you from driving. Banned me? Yeah, you've been banned until the 24th of the 5th. Well, they'll have told you in court. Uh. Give that a moment to sink in. Does that mean uh, disqualified from the driving, yeah, you know? Yeah, you're not allowed to drive. You've got no insurance either. My God. No further action was taken against the driver of the Citroen. Bro really trying to act like he don't know. As for the band driver, who claimed that his mate paid cash for a Merc, he was found guilty of driving while disqualified and driving without insurance and was jailed for four months. No further action was taken in relation to the burglary. You mean stolen? Cambridge oh, okay. and Naughty Boys nil. Yorkshire United one. I've actually stopped a driver today who's smaller than you. I couldn't believe it. Possible. I couldn't believe it. I thought good. But you haven't stopped anyone older than you, though, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Got it on his ass, dude. He tried to make a short joke. She made an old joke. That's funny. Hey there. Well, like I say, you can't cheat it. So he was genuinely hurt by the joke too. He was ah. Well, no. You win. There's no point in trying to. Interceptors read wrong-ins like a book. Keep going like that, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. Man. I could hear it then you put your tongue over it in the Yeah, it did. I can hear it, it stopped. But they also appreciate more genteel literature. Charlotte Bronte, round new abroad. Hey, boy, it's going to be quick, isn't it? And they're expert speed readers. These streets were fine for Bronte's horse and carriage, but they're a tight squeeze in a two-ton X5. And Nick's got his work cut out, keeping up with the nippy scooter. I really wish they let us post 24 hours in police custody, because I'd definitely watch it more. Okay, Romeo, three, seven. Which hangs a left in the blink of an eye. The Beamer takes an eternity by comparison. Yeah, three, seven, urgent, not on scooter failing to stop there. Uh, He's weaving all over the shop, sticking out a peg, speedway style, to balance on corners. 
Yeah, it's doing a left, 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 left uh, Bronte place. That's now you take a turn on the no two. No time for a on, selfie on a bike, by the blue plaque. End of Bronte place, he's doing a right, 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 uh, wrong side of the road, heading back towards Thornton Road. You can better have the right hand and you yes. Yes, yes, that's affirmative. Where are you uh, going? Rider has got a helmet, uh, just gone out of sight now. Stand by. West Yorkshire have only recently reversed the policy of not pursuing bikes. But stopping them is no mean feat. Just approaching the double... Uh... So that's new. So they reversed the policy of chasing bikes and they make you, and they say you can make tactical contact. It's busy, busy year. Roundabout, uh, straight across at the roundabout, uh, continuing Thornton Road, speed 40 mile an hour. Nick has the advantage on straight wide roads and Scooter Boy soon looking nervously over his shoulder and weaving to prevent an overtake. One occupant on the scooter. Another speedway turn. Left, left, left onto roadsway. You're not getting away. And another. You're going to have to decamp. One. And you're, you're probably going to fall left because you don't look like you road, know what you're doing. Yes, yes, T Pat train requesting T Pat, please. Uh, single crew uh, requesting other units. Vehicle's gone off road uh, through some bollards, end of Herschel Road. Unfortunately, I, I am unable to follow. Oh, okay. Three seven, uh, I'll receive. I'll keep oh, well. Better go right. home. A little bit of a pursuit there with a the scooter. Don't know why. Um, could have been a stolen one. It could have been no insurance, no license. Could be for no reason. Um, was initially saw it on uh, Bronte Road. And as Miss Bronte might have put it, reader, I lost him. Hey ho, lost it at this time, but you never know, might pop up again. Probably not today. Though. Catching scooters is a patience game. Yeah, the chance will come again as oh, okay. sure as night follows day. We've got two motorbikes. Uh, in tandem with each other, no helmets going up the uh, pavement towards Leeds City Centre. It's the early hours, and Tom and Wayne have just had their own unsuccessful brush with two wheelers. We get Leeds watch having a look round, please. Um, we've had two motorbikes make off from us uh, just More off Westgate coming into Leeds. Um, I think the last one was seen um, Wellington Street towards City Centre. Wayne's had the runaround from scooters in West Yorkshire for years. He knows the odds are against them making an arrest. The two bikes, both two up, no helmets, balaclavas. Like this, you mean? Oh. Oh, man. Bang in the middle of Leeds, bold as brass, these balaclavered Burks bowl straight past Tom and Wayne on the pavement. Parallel with a pursuing car. What kind of bike is they on? And Tom's ready to go man versus scooter on the pavement. Yanka Juliet 6-7. Tom, rethink this. You are not catching a bike on foot when a, when a car is barely catching. Get back in the car. But the eager interceptor can save his breath. Get in. Oh, I'm not. Because the scooters had an accident. So they're going to be running towards us. Oh, yeah, he's out and running. And the dismounted riders have legged it. Move, move, move. Tom's itching to get out of the blocks. Let's out, let's out, let's out, let's out, let's out, let's out. Go on, go on. Come in. He must be fat. He fell. <laughs> Tom, it's not your day, cuz. You almost tried to chase a scooter like you was the Terminator. Then you hopped out. Talking about legs out, legs out, legs out. Then you fail. Let me move so everybody can see this. Because I just don't want to be the only one enjoying this. Everybody got to see this. Hold on. Legs out, legs out, legs out, legs out, legs out, legs out. Go on, go on. Come in. <laughs> he hopped out talking about some, come in. Fall. Almost got ran over by his partner. That's tough. That's tough. I shouldn't take that much enjoyment in that, but I am who I am. <laughs> Come here! 
<laughs> got tears in my eyes. Again. That's funny. Oh my God. Having got in front, Wayne's ready to make an entrance. He sounds like a man, them. But Tom makes the collar, and a picture emerges. Oh, I need love to hurt me. Of a sorry suspect. He's strangling me. Get some cuffs here. That's He's illegal. Okay. Isn't People that illegal? Pedestrians at risk. Isn't that excessive force? Hand in the throat? That's illegal in any country. Well, any. You know what I'm saying? That's illegal, though. Bro just said it, too. Admitted it on camera. I don't care. I jumped out, tripped, and almost got ran over by my partner. I'm mad. I'm strong. I don't care. Right. Who put pedestrians at risk? Right. Go back. You lots up put them in it. And they just driving. Chris. I want to be driving. It doesn't matter. Can you put him in your car? Yeah, yeah. Take him. Yeah. Take him out. It doesn't matter how you get them, as long as you get them. Right, Tom? Wasn't the uh, finest exit of the vehicle, chipping over myself, but we got him. <laughs> Let's have a little action replay. Oh, we get, yeah, yeah. Talk to us, narrator. Let me move out your way. I didn't know y'all was gonna replay it. I should've just. Right hand on the headlining, top marks for technique, a textbook <laughs> drop of the left shoulder, and oh, schoolboy <laughs> error. It's a fall from the judges for <laughs> this mount. Hey. But a solid 10 for end product. Ooh. Yeah, that was the best piece of narrating I've heard in a long time. Oh, that's fun. I'm willing to bet Mike's probably nicked. That is fun. I don't know. I don't know. What? You know full well you shouldn't have been on that bike. That <clears> nicked <throat> bike. <laughs> the yeah. You locked up left the motor vehicle. Yeah. Dangerous driving. And it's back to custody to lick their wounds. Oh, of, man, they uh, cut out today. It's a lot. Um, but, you know, we carried on going. Um, and we caught him. It remains to be seen exactly what he was caught for. There's a question to be asked at what they're doing at four o'clock in the morning. Um, with, uh, in the late drink of water out there. Whether they committing crime or whether they are just out for a joyride, I don't know. But uh, certainly for that young man, it's come to an end tonight because he's in the cells. Well, he'll be out. That young man was found guilty of dangerous driving. As for the cannabis, which was found on him back at the Nick, he received a conditional discharge. No action was taken against him for theft of the motorbike. Knew it. Still to come. Mm -mm. It's a grey day in Halifax, but Ben and Matt are praying for a streak of purple <laughs> yeah. on their face. Oh, it's still funny. Looking for a, um, a purple. Don't know. Purple 308. But before they spot their purple Peugeot, Two lads leaving a blue golf set off the spider sense. Oh. Ben thinks they're acting suspiciously. I, uh, yeah. Give his keys. Huh? Give his keys. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing Ben's at? trained in kung fu and jiu-jitsu. He's oh, a wow. master at sizing up an opponent's weaknesses. I'll just get a car. Yeah. So rather than run with 10 kilos of kit, three, two, he zeroes in on the abandoned car. Three, two, thank you. Can you put a log on for us, please, for uh, an abandoned vehicle. You just go, have, have a cut lot. I'm just going to drive ramp block. Heading backwards to find the high-tailing pair from the golf, Ben leaves Matt to check it out. Matt's a former fitness instructor who plays squash and works out. But this finely tuned greyhound was asleep in the traps today. <laughs> to be honest, I blame Matt. He's a bit slow getting out of the car. He's an old man now. What is he, 34, 35? 
and he, he goes on about him used to be a fitness instructor and then he's fit as a butcher's dog. I admit I'm fat and slow. And obviously I've got a bad chest at the moment, so as I said, I can't really run after anyone at the moment. But, uh, There's no sign of the runaways. So, after a lap in the beamer, he's so back to the, the house. Golf. They've got to live, right? Here. Pace. Well, that's where I work, finding him, wasn't it? We've been driving around the area for the last 25 minutes, not knowing where you are. <laughs> Couldn't find you. What have you got then? The car contained enough bagged up weed to point to dealing. So we've got. I don't want to edit, so let's just take it off the screen like that. Being lazy today. Grab a big bag of it's just um, it's little bags. You can hear them. Dealing cannabis around Halifax. So we had about 20, 30 bags of cannabis. So it's like about two grand probably. Yeah. So reach stop. The golf's being seized, but not before the interceptors recover registration documents from its glove box. Ah, there's a, uh, oh, got him. Oh, that, got a nice person. I didn't see the passenger. I saw him, but I didn't see his face, but I saw the driver. Uh, descriptions. <laughs> That's a minute, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Registered owner looks just like one of the lads who ran off. The person driving the car we've got, we saw him jump out of the car. Bro, it's definitely down bad. Now they're gonna come search his whole house, all of that. He didn't run off. Got him on our video. Unfortunately for him, he's left the um, the new Keeper V5 in the good box with his details on. It's assured to him. He's known to us. We've got his picture on our database. Which may spare Sport Billy's blushes after his no-show at the races. He was like 20, wasn't he? 15 younger than, younger than me. I got all this stuff on. Never gone with her. If you say so. Don't make excuses, right, Mr. Fitness? It's like an extra stone, is this? At least. You're a fit lad, though. Not as fit as you, Ben. Your body's a temple. Not as fit as yours. My body's not a temple. Fellas, but relax. your instincts are spot on. Because back on the road, they clock another VW radiating wrongness. A shifty look from the driver aroused suspicion, so Ben spins round to head him off. So I've seen the, uh... That'd be me, though. Like, literally, every time I sort of see a police and I'm not driving and I'm just, like, standing outside or something, I just stare. You know what I'm saying? Because if you get out, you're definitely wasting your time. I'm a civilian at this point in life. I have a child. I'll be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a BW bar in front. Looks a bit suspicious. Uh, Asian driver will look at us. What's he doing? Come on, you absolute nugget. Just have a quick look at him. As they turn the corner, the suspect floors it, overtakes a learner driver, and heads for the hills. 3 1, urgent. Oh, he's seen sense. <laughs> Rethought it. Engine off. Now. Engine off. Yeah, I think he's stopping some bank. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Get out of the car. So you have to record me. Get the car. Can you get off me? I'll get in the car. Get the car. Not record me. That's right. But they're recording us. Okay. Yeah, I've got what we're doing. To so get in our car. Yeah, all right. Fine. Is it okay if you don't record? No. Me? I don't want to be recorded. Right. Get in car now before we put you in car. I don't want you driving like an idiot. Right. Look, I'll help you. You're driving like an idiot. Get in the car. If they ask to like not be recorded, don't you have to blur their face then? It's not your choice. Stop leaning in the car. Can you get off? No. Me? No. Off we're not getting off you. So get off me. Right. Look, I'm not resisting. I'll right. get in the car. Well, get in the car and do what you're told. Get off my this could be so much easier. Hallelujah. Have you got a license? Yeah. yeah. Have you got insurance? Yeah, yeah. So just explain to me then why you had a gamble at putting people's lives at risk. It was for, for nothing. I'm sick of saying that this road's track like a racetrack and people don't care. Uh, and you just you're a prime example of what's what the driving standards like and why we're out and about and what we're doing to combat it. 
the driver faces a Section 59 warning for poor driving. If he offends again within 12 months, his car will be seized. Right, I'm going to deal with you now is you're going to be issued a Section 59 warning on a police reform act. Have you got one anywhere? I'm not going to lie to you. You've got one? Well, unfortunately, we'll be taking your vehicle then, lad. I don't know when I'll you... be one, but I, well, I had one a long time ago. Where's the gone? Whether or not... Ooh, I... Just check it. Yeah, I run it through the database. He keeps his car, hinges on how long ago a long time ago was. Let's have a look. Less than a year and he's walking home. When was it this year? Last year? It was a while ago. I cannot remember. It's for 12 months. For yeah, the last of 12 months? I, I don't know if it's... I mean, see where a while ago? Was it months ago, years ago? I have absolutely no idea. I just know it was a long time ago. Honestly. It's not bringing him up for 59. Because it'd be on this P and C, and it's well, it might well, not be on my name. That's why. Not on vehicle. No, it's on a different vehicle. Right, <laughs> old car. That my was why? Why would it not be on your name? It's my mate. Oh, there it is. Years ago, months ago. Oh look, 13th of uh, February this year. Ah, five weeks ago. It were a was long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but at well, least. I'm just a month. At least months ago. Months. No, nine nine months. No, no, one month. This 59 will be harder to forget. That's for you. This is not receipt. Car's been seized. Okay. Mr. Memory has 14 days to pay £150 recovery, oh, or his car bad. will be that's crushed. For driving without due care and attention, he was fined £204 and received three penalty points. They didn't search him. Like his hands is in his pocket and everything. Like they don't even care. Points. As for the golf seized earlier. Insufficient evidence was found to link the keeper of the car to the cannabis inside, and no further ah. action was taken. Ben and Matt must content themselves. Ah, don't you show that? Give me one second. <laughs> with taking a sizable amount of drugs and a nuisance driver off the streets of Yorkshire. I'm happy. I'm happy. Shall we get some dinner? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Where y'all going? Dunkin' Donuts? My fault. Then it's cool. <laughs> TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do some light editing in this YouTube, so please leave me. I'm gone.